Okay, so back to our team and a little bit more about uh, what we're doing this summer and what we did for the past seven years. Um, so raising money is obviously one part of our mission and where the money goes, I think that was answered uh, two speakers ago. But the uh, vast majority of our money goes to the Sydney Campbell Comprehensive Cancer Center and the Baltimore Hope Lodge. Um, last year we donated 10000 to Sydney Campbell and 40000 to the American Cancer Society's Hope Lodge. And this year we've upped the, uh, our, our um, I'm drawing a blank on the word, but our pledge, there we go, uh, to the uh, Sydney Kimmel Center. And there's a little bit more about both of these organizations on the next two slides. Um, so the Baltimore Hope Lodge is the place where we spend most of our money and it's where we spend most of our time. Um, we go down to the Hope Lodge every week during the year once the team selected in November and we put on events similar to this um, with them. The only difference is we cook for them instead of them cooking for us. Um, <laughs> so we do it for the residents who are there and what the Hope Lodge is, is it's a place for people to stay when they're receiving cancer treatments at any of the hospitals in the area. Um, and they stay there for free. I think it's actually a $1 fee for the length of your stay. Um, and when you have somebody who's in an eight month clinical trial at one of the hospitals, and they're from two hours away, their choice is, I can either try of two hours, you know, three times a week, four times a week, or I can stay here for free, or I can pay for a hotel. And over eight months, that's prohibitively expensive for almost anybody. Um, so. We really see where our money goes to work in the Hope Lodge in Baltimore. And the Hope Lodge is not specific to Baltimore. Baltimore was the first one, but there are, I believe, 28 of them throughout the country. Um, their goal, and they're still expanding, is to have one in every state at least, and then to go from there. Um, so I know there's one in Cleveland, and there's one in St. Louis, so maybe the next one will be in Indianapolis. So I'd like to ride for Simba, there's a woman by family last night. Uh, the eight month cancer survivor who uh, fortunately didn't need chemo because it hadn't spread to other lymph nodes, but she's now in five year treatment. Uh, and she was joking that her hair is slowly falling out instead of quickly because of chemo. But uh, hopefully, she said when it all falls out, she can wear a different wig every day and she can mix things up and it'd be easier to do it. So, I'm going to ride for her. I'd like to dedicate my ride to uh, Jennifer Fisher, who's a circle. She's a 18 year cancer survivor. I'm reminded me, in some sense, of my own mother, who's a breast cancer survivor, but um, I guess it made me think how lucky I was that she gets so soon that she didn't have to take I'm rededicating my ride to the woman at the Hobodge.
bound Body bent Jesus love Don't pay the rent I pray But I won't repent Made in USA On a popular stump Trash burning in a 55-gallon drum Backyards of bone You're out of memories and junk Made in USA Um, and what's hard for you about business? What's hard for me, it's, I mean, obviously the physical aspect is, is hard. I mean, you have to push yourself every day to finish the day, and of course there will be harder days to come. Um, but sometimes that stuff, that is just like alleviated by, you know, the, by, you know, the reason that we're biking is obviously to raise money and awareness, you know, fighting cancer, but we all have a personal a personal reason for it. Um, my grandfather, who, you know, was very inspirational to me, uh, very influential, uh, died when I was 12 from leukemia, and he's the one I'm riding for. And, you know, every time that, you know, you just don't want to, don't want to climb that mountain or go on, you're just tired, you know, you just, you just think about, you know, the person you're riding for, people that you're meeting along the way, and just, you know, you realize how good a cause it is, and you just, you just keep pushing. It's a game where everybody yeah. will yeah. really yeah. yeah. I feel like it's been the last day of my life. It doesn't necessarily have to do with cancer, but it's, it's more to why I'm here. And my real reason is for going this trip. I mentioned it last year, so I'll mention it again this year. Uh, my freshman year, there's a senior on our baseball team, Mike Gala, and he was really one of the reasons why I felt home in that place. Then sophomore year, he was our strength and conditioning coach. And he's a real talk, our team, and he's just said, but what it means to put in a hard day's work and what you can get out of that. And in August of 2006, he was killed in a car crash. So I read last year from life. I think I did see it from 